Once you've downloaded the Easy Interactive driver, the next step is installing it. Locate the downloaded driver installer on your computer. Mine happens to be sitting on my desktop. I can then double click on it to open it up. Next, I can double click on the Easy Interactive driver installer. In the installation dialog box that opens up, I can click Continue in the lower right corner. We then see the software license agreement. After reviewing it, we can click Continue and then click Agree to agree to the terms. Now we can choose the install location of the driver if we need to. Otherwise, we can just click Install to perform a standard installation of the driver. At this point, you may need to enter your computer's password to perform the installation. The next dialog box lets us know that we need to restart our computer once the software is installed. We can then click Continue Installation. In the following dialog box, we can see that the installation was successful. We can click Restart to restart our computer. The driver is installed in the Applications folder by default. If you are wondering if the Easy Interactive driver has been installed on a computer that you will be using with your projector, you can always check the Applications folder and locate the installed driver there. It should be like mine, located in a folder called Easy Interactive Driver.